tonight and I realised for the first time you really, really wanted to win this game. Oh, yeah. It gets to this point. It gets to the final 6-5-4. You're saying, you know, I'm still in this baby. And uh, it was crazy, but you can win 11 challenges in a row. You, you just got to win that last one, and that's the one that counts. And you saw I went down like the Titanic. I didn't even – and puzzles kill me. You, you were the cat with nine lives, though. You kept coming back. Oh, yeah. I should have been – there was lots of lots of travels. I should have been gone. I should have went home in Wesley, Alec, John last week. Uh, well, almost every time that I didn't have the next, let's just put it like that. What did you think when you kind of looked around and went, I'm actually making it to the final? Yeah, and uh, I looked around. When John went home, I looked around and I said, oh, no, I'm here with four women. Oh, my gosh. I said, I'm doomed is what it is. What it is. But, you, you know, and I, I kind of thought to myself then, I need to win out. So I win the one and that sends Baylor to the house, but that's where the streak ended. Do you think that you'd have... Let's just put it like that. What did you think when you kind of looked around and went, I'm actually making it to the final? Yeah, and I looked around. When John went home, I looked around and I said, oh, no, I'm here with four women. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I said, I'm doomed is what it is. What it is. But, you, you know, and I, I kind of thought to myself then, I need to win out. So I win the one and that sends Baylor to the house, but that's where the streak ended. Do you think that you'd have played better in that game without West there? I don't know. Uh, it was nice to have him around. You know you had a vote. You know you had a vote. You know you had somebody you could trust. Uh, I don't know if I'd play it by myself. I kind of like playing with him. We kind of competition junkies a little bit anyway. He wants to beat the old man. I want to beat the young guy. But he can run faster and jump higher. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he didn't. You know. There's a lot of talk on social media about you being a huge standout star of this show and a lot of people calling for you to come back as a fan favourite. Oh, yeah. Do you think you'd come back without Wes? Ah, nah, I thought about that. I, I don't know. Wes is like... Uh, Security blank, you know, you got, you got somebody. You and me are a, a security blank. Going by yourself, and, you know, I'm not the best player in the smart, you know, I'm not the super fan like some of these other folks. I might go out first round, just you never know. Do you think if you watched other seasons and studied it like some people had, do you think that would have changed your gameplay? It might have changed my gameplay a little bit, but look at the people, the people that know, uh, they go. I mean, Josh, gone, good player. Jeremy, gone, good player. Reed, boom. Here's Keith. It's just kind of win a few, win a couple of challenges and, you know, dodge a few bullets in between, find an idol, you can come in fourth. Although some of those guys who were playing the game actually blamed you for them being kicked out of the game tonight. What do you think about that? Yeah, they, uh, well, right after the Wesley went home, then, then Reed goes home. We, we were doomed after that, but... Uh, yeah, I, maybe I had a lot to do with that in a bad way, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that that's just shows how much of a rookie player I was, I guess. Which I think is nice because you, you were just yourself and people fell in love with you. Yeah, I tried to play tried to play with integrity, tried not to lie every sentence, maybe every other sentence, you know, uh, and do it like that. I mean, you, you can get far without – you don't have to lie every sentence. That's what I'm getting at. Anyway. Well, I mean, the, the show has a history of liars winning, so I guess it's that is part of the game. Well, that's that's the first the first time I went to Exile Island. I didn't even know nobody's name yet. We get to Exile Island, Val opens the deal, and I say, "What is what does it say, Val?" She lied to me. <laughs> I don't even know her name yet, and she's lying. The first, the first, well, the first ten minutes of the first show, I've already been lied to. So. Uh, um, it's interesting because we get snippets when you're on Exile Island and, you know, food obviously is in shortage the entire time, but there we see you guys eating snails and things like that. Tell me some of the gross things that you ate and, and how do you get accustomed to that? At what, what day? Is it day one or day seven that you finally go, okay, I'm going to eat this snail? Well, uh, the snails, the snails are, um, they're a little reward for a lot of work and they're not that tasty. Um. I guess the hardest day for me was like, the merge was like at day 16. So 13, 14, 15 was hard. We're starving to death, we're eating little crabs. And there at the end, I just eating shell and all. Wasn't even peeling them. It was too much work to peel them. 
So you just eat shell and all, and uh, my bowels proved that later on down the road, too. What was the first thing that you ate when you left the island? Oh, I called my wife and I said, bring me some donuts to the airport. So when we landed, I ate about two donuts, and I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that was my next question. How long did it take for your body to get used to eating it? Well, uh, I, you had big plans. I was going to get chicken, enchiladas, pizza, all the way to the house. I was going to stop, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. You just body was saying no. I don't know, maybe five days before I got putting some weight back on, eating something besides oatmeal. and oh. You seem like a, a you know pretty down-to-earth kind of guy. How is it that you wound up all the way in Nicaragua on Survivor? Because our site is people who all want to be on the show. So share your journey. Yeah, it, it was cra- They contacted Wesley. Wesley sent in a video in 2010. Well, boom, fa- flash forward to 2014. They call him up and they... And how I got involved was the blood versus water. At first, I wasn't Wesley's first choice. I found that out the other day. I was ticked, too. Who was his first choice? His little brother. I said, come on. But they already had a brother-brother team. So, bam, insert me. So that's how I got father-son. They didn't have no father-son yet. So uh, I said, are you kidding me? Nicaragua? I didn't even know where that that was. <laughs> you know, where did we even point to? But uh, we did it. We landed. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. It was a. Uh, you just don't. You just don't sit around in Louisiana saying, "Hey, let's fly down to Nicaragua." You you know you fly down to Cancun or fly over to Hawaii. You don't fly to Nicaragua. Any regrets and any last words? The regrets was the was the let's stick to the plan tribal. That was pretty bad. Uh, last words? No, I I enjoyed it. Survivor's been great. Uh, to look us up later. <laughs>